Today we gather because of water and the state we are in. With water being the number one priority issue in the lead up to the election next March, now is the time for political leaders to maximise all water saving opportunities. The Chelton Park Residents Association has maintained throughout its five years campaign that the government must take full advantage of the Chelton Park Racecourse stormwater management and recycling potential. The Chelton Racecourse site represents 49 hectares of open space that could accommodate large scale stormwater harvesting along the same lines as Salisbury Council's wetland scheme. Salisbury's councils Colin Pittman has estimated that if all the race court site were used for that purpose, the potential yield of recycled water is in the order of 20 to 30 gigalitres, or roughly one third of Adelaide's annual draw on the Murray. Compare that with what is currently planned for the site, a four to six hectare wetland yielding 1.2 gigalitres per year, and the lost opportunity is staggering. Mike Rand's waterproofing Adelaide website makes a statement. The biggest challenge in maximising the use of urban stormwater is the availability of open space to capture, treat and store large volumes of water. Well, Mr Rand, 49 hectares of open space on a floodplain, underlain by generous aquifers and flanked by two major stormwater drains, is available at Chelburne Racecourse. It's up to you to change the disastrous decision your government has made to liberate that, to obliterate that prime opportunity for the sake of a housing development. Mm. Mr. Ann, please stop and listen. Premier, please, ha sir. have your government buy the Chelman Park land and donate it to the people. Yeah. Use yeah. Chelman Park for stormwater management for the whole catchment region and truly engage the people in the decision making process to plan the future use of the land for present and future generations. Yeah.